Welcome to Positivity with Poe. Hello, world, and welcome to Positivity with Poe. You know, I got to do that every week, every single week. I am your host, Ms. Poe B, and today we are live with episode five, Making a Plan with Bambalacha. Woo! I'm so excited to be back. We are continuing our mail series, okay? Let's give another round of applause. Woo! Ooh, all right, just a little baby clap for that. No, I'm joking. We're going to do a big clap for our men. Um, last week, we had actor Eternal Ruffin. He was on, he shared his story, and pretty much how, as a man, he went through his healing journey. Um, it's really hard, I feel like. Well, I'm not a man. I don't know, fellas. You got to let me know. It seems really hard to heal as a Black man in America, um, to kind of move away from what the stigma is for what a Black man should be, where he should live, how he should live, how he should look, how he should treat people, and kind of just choose a route that is overall just healthy, you know? And um, I feel like we don't hear enough about the younger Black men, men our age in our, you know, in our late 20s or early 30s or at any age, really, um, about, you know, how men go on their journey as well to choose a healthier lifestyle. And so today we're picking that up. We're continuing that. We are continuing with these special ingredients, my sugar biscuits, to bring you the best of the best biscuits, all right? The male biscuits, that is, okay? Because I'm the best female biscuit, hello? Nah, I'm just joking. We're all great, my sugar biscuits. So when we get back at this, this and when we get back after this commercial break, look, I'm so excited, I can't talk right. We will have the owner of Bambalacha. Stay tuned. OG Media Production is a visual production company focused on making its clients' visions visible. They provide graphic design, photography, video production, and live streaming. These days, they are looking to work with clients that have vision for their project. Let OG Media take your vision to your audience. Visit their website at www.ogmediaproductions.com and follow them on IG at Team OGMP. They're passionate about putting their skills and innovation to work for you. All right, world, welcome back. And today on Positivity with Poe, we have owner of Bambalacha. Hello, hello, Mr. Bambalacha. I just like to say the name. I think the name is just so catchy. Like it makes me want to. It has to be. It has to be. <laughs> well, Mr. Bambalacha, um, please let us know who you are. I mean, I know who you are. He's a great sugar biscuit, y'all. But let tell the people who you are and what Bambalacha is. So Bambalacha started about three years ago. All right. So it started with with me having pretty much having like a, a love for nature. And I started noticing things, but the love started from like, you know, pretty much nature walks, everything like that. And at the time, you know, I was uh, going through something, uh, a family issue uh, where we were battling cancer. And, you know, at that time I was an adolescent, you know, I was young, but at the same time I was still like, like trying to look at the difference between like, where nature starts and how like me coming up in the city where that like how does that like how does how does the conflict start pretty much because what i was trying to understand was that like you know i love living in the city but you know i also love nature but you know there was kind of a, a bar for getting what i wanted and what i started realizing you know like as you know a lot of us uh, I started smoking marijuana, you know what I'm saying? And um, after, you know, really getting into 
smoking marijuana pretty much um understanding the culture of marijuana um you know at first uh pretty much doing it as a street thing and then uh correlating it kind of to uh the person that in my family that we were going through uh, the cancer about where we were, we started using that instead of some of the uh, Western medications that were, you know, recommended. And I started just noticing like what it could do. And the fact that like, it wasn't, you know, weed, it was like an actual piece of nature that was helping something that, and, and my opinion was made by Western society cancer. And it was like, pretty much like given to people that like, in, in my opinion, don't really deserve it. And, you know, we could go all day about like the, 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 you know, the reasons of that. But what I saw was that nature brought us simplicity. And what I wanted to do with Bambalacha was like kind of showcase that. I wanted to showcase like, like the cultivation side that like, I feel like our people have actually left. I feel like everybody, can relate to it. And the thing is, self-sustainability is something that I'm looking at, like, why do our people like not want to be with that? Why not be with that? If you want to actually sustain yourself and not actually lean on something like the government, why not get like self-sustained? Because there's nothing wrong with like actually leaning on yourself. Right. Because right. that's honestly in our souls. Mm -hmm. our ancestors did that mm -hmm. so my thing is why can't this generation and you know honestly the next generation start like actually like realizing that because it's a gift it's a gift that i think gives gives more to you than like money ever could okay so you know what i'm saying so you think now like like you said you, you said you could go on and on about um people are using weed and they don't deserve it so you think people now our generation especially is abusing weed. People are just smoking it without really. Well, yeah, what do you mean by that? I, I, I feel like they're not realizing the capitalism that has gotten involved in the legalization of cannabis. Mm, okay. Um, there are certain states right now in America that are using uh, legalization and you know dispensaries to, I guess, give back reparations um that's their way of giving it back and my thing is there's like country i mean there's uh counties mm -hmm. everywhere across this country where there's some young black man that was arrested in 2006 for a nick bag but mm -hmm. they're not recanting his case because that state hasn't legalized it so right. now they're like like that man now that's been in jail for that long has to pretty much look at look on the news and see people making money for something that he has charges from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like, like, I think like more needs to be added to the table when it comes to legalization. And I think that of the percentage of black people that are in the legalization and actually having dispensaries and having farms, I think that they need to like, I don't want to say showcase it because like right now, like, you know, we're in a timid time in our country, but I do think that it's a very big revenue stream that the black market like has all rights to have a part of. Okay. So just as, because, yeah. Uh-huh. So yeah. as Bambalacha, you know, as a black cannabis owner, um, how is it being a, a black cannabis business owner in the business? Mm -hmm. Have you experienced any hardships? Have you know, or is it a, is it a loving community? What's it like to be a black cannabis owner? I mean, to be honest, um, you know, when I started this uh, this brand, you know, I really wanted to push cultivation, mm -hmm. you know, and we also do that through merch. Mm -hmm. But my main thing was to get more people to grow. And as I've gotten into the grow community, you know, I've seen that, you know, if there is a young black child, you know, well, I don't, don't want to say child, but adolescent that let's say wants to experience cannabis and they want to grow it in a way where they don't have to actually worry about, you know, 
pesticides, you know, certain things, because dispensaries are cool, but there's certain things that comes with that. Mm -hmm. That's why, like, what I'm trying to offer is, like, an actual natural way. Like, you know, me and my brother actually traveled to Belize, like, two years ago. And, you know, when I was, like, you know, in the middle of purchasing some cannabis from a guy that was pretty cool, he was like, yeah, we don't smoke that American weed because there's chemicals on it. And like for a year, I couldn't understand like, what was he talking about? And then I started like doing a little bit more research and I was like, oh, <laughs> I figured out pretty much like what he was talking about pretty much like. So, okay, now, whoa, like this is a lot of information to take in. First <laughs> of all, my weed is being laced, okay? That's number one. Second of mm-hmm. all, how did you get to Belize? What made you, you know, we don't really hear too many black people just say, hey, I'm going to Belize. What made you decide to go to Belize? Um, you know, it was a beautiful country. You know, I looked at pictures of it. Um, me and my brother were always talking about like trying to get to some type of island that was like a black island. And when we got to Belize, um, and also like we're big, you know, big fans of uh, the rapper Shine. Okay. And a lot of people don't realize, like, he was actually deported, you know, when he got out of prison to Belize. And right now he is a very high representative in the government. Yes, so, I heard about that. I didn't know if it was true. I was like, is this real? Yeah, like, is yeah. this real shot? Like, you, in Belize, like, on, on, like yeah. in politics? But, yeah, wow. like... <laughs> So it's a real yeah, thing, like, and that kind of pushed you guys to say, "Let's go visit here." And yeah, then- like we wanted to see how, like, how he, like, how he came from, like, coming from America, coming from that, into what he is now, and then like getting over there and just like pretty much like eating the people, you know, eating the food. Like it was just like, why not make this kind of a permanent thing? Because that's honestly the goal is to make that a permanent thing like some white people retire in Fort Lauderdale because it's good for a white person to retire in a place like that right I want to retire in a place where there's other other black people and it's tropical and yeah. Belize is the place for me there's yeah. other places yeah but that's the place for me and my brother yeah Yes. Um, like you said, like yeah I would prefer a place where you know my marijuana is not just covered in pesticides and everything. yeah like who's who wants to smoke that like yeah, exactly. and to be honest like that's what makes it into like an actual harmful thing is like them trying to mass produce it in a way like that like like the fact that you'll see a rapper like online like on instagram like be pretty much like in a lab coat in a lab with weed that's not how weed is supposed to be like it's grown that way you can grow it indoor but Hmm. you like you could like you can go to california and see just farms you can go to oregon and just see farms like just farms yeah not in a lab like you don't need like you don't need a lab coat like like it's natural like you don't like when i see the lab coats i'm like what are you spraying on there that you don't want on your clothes like what is the weed like you see what i'm saying that's some food for thought right there um, that's weird like. <laughs> yeah, so okay so like let's back up a little bit so when you first got started with bambalacha um you said that you know pretty much what inspired you was you know battling having cancer uh with one of your family members right mm-hmm. and that but at that time were you still kind of were you unaware of you know of the things that you know now you know was it yeah I yeah how was I I was I was unaware because like I was urbanly using cannabis okay I like that urbanly using yeah for recreational use right yeah 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 and until like I guess like me and my brother like got to the point where we were like all right we're gonna actually grow this and you actually see a flower cultivate, and then you see like what you get off the street, and then you smoke what you actually cultivate, and then you smoke what you get off the street. Big difference. <laughs> That's all I can say. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So did you use pesticides in your plants no. to grow, or you just no. it's all all natural. all natural, all natural, uh, all natural oranges. We use orange peels. We use uh, like this is all to pretty much like put in the soil to give it like nutrients. 
because like during the three month process, it actually needs like nutrients, but you don't have to put like powdered stuff that you can get from Lowe's. Like you can actually get like potassium out of a banana peel. You can get, uh, you know, like there's calcium out of eggshells. Like there's a lot of things like natural things that actually help the plant rather than getting a powder that you can easily get at Lowe's. Cause that stuff like is not like it's fake. It's like, white man made it's like hot makes... <laughs> corn syrup like, yeah you know, and i yeah, talk about yeah. sugar biscuits a lot and i'm like mm -hmm. i don't want no fake ingredients in my sugar biscuit yeah you know? like i want sugar I want... cane exactly not okay. uh, sugar out the bag i want the real deal okay i want to crack over that sugar <laughs> and put it in <laughs> i like that so I mean, what efforts are you taking? So you said you had merch, and in case some of my uh, more seasoned sugar biscuits don't know what merch is, that's merchandise. Okay. Um, merchandise. So, uh, so I'm you, actually wearing one of our t-shirts right I now. I see it, and I like yes, that yes. color. I like the green. Thank and you, the thank you. I'm going to have to get me one. I'm going to have to get me one. Um, yeah. So, I mean, so you sell merchandise, right? Now, mm -hmm. do you do anything as you sell merchandise? Like, do you try to, like, say, hey, let me inform you about this real deal as you sell the merchandise. Because so many people can sell, you know, cannabis related merchandise. So, mm -hmm. you know. Well, mainly um, what we've trying to been, uh, like kind of been working on is uh, just content pretty much. Um, uh, what we have upcoming is pretty much we've, uh, and we're located in uh, North Carolina right now. So what we're doing is we're finding all, uh, black farms pretty much we found about 50 and what we're trying to do is pretty much actually go out to the farm we're going to videotape actually uh meeting some of the owners trying their foods because here's the thing a lot of the things that are in these black farms are in acne they're in pathmark they're in there in the stores and a lot of people and it's not like they name it uncle ben's they don't do that like some of them just name it like a family name so it's right. like when i went you know, because I actually have like a T-shirt that's coming out that's pretty, pretty much showcasing that. So what it'll have is like a, a design with black farmers and on the back, it's going to have like the name of all 50 farms. Because what, what the goal is to, is to actually showcase 50 farms that are black owned in America in 2021. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Bamba Lata, this is some positive trying man trying this trying great. oh my mm -hmm. gosh there's so much more i want to get into but we gotta go into commercial and i gotta get the po news out there don't worry my sugar biscuits when we get back we'll make sure we have bambalacha on the sign off so we can definitely just get your info and definitely chat keep it right here it's positivity with po Are you looking for a safe, supportive environment that will encourage and empower your child to reach their full potential, especially during this pandemic? UNIDMV provides enriching out-of-school support services and activities that build academic and social skills for 7 to 18-year-olds residing in the District of Columbia, Maryland, and Virginia communities. UNI DMV has been mentoring the youth since August 2010. For information on upcoming events and programs, visit us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash UNI DMV. All right, world, welcome back to Positivity with Poe. And you know what time it is. It's time for some what? Some Poe news. <laughs> Y'all know I'm crazy. All right, y'all, let's get into our Po News. Wow, that was such a good interview with Bambalacha. We got to have him back, but we're going to jump into the Po News right now. My Sugar Biscuits, make sure you support Youth Arts and Crafts Donation Drive, um, sponsored by BWCC, the group that I'm a part of. Okay, uh, make sure you visit blackwomencc.com. Um, please send in your donations. If you would like to learn more about what this uh, arts and craft drive is about, please follow Creative Vibes. That's K-R-E-A-T-I-V 
V I B Z. Okay. Don't worry. I'll have it up on my page. If you want to see that again, uh, make sure you follow them. They are great. Also that event is sponsored by uni D and V um, to help children uh, learn and grow their social skills and their educational skills all in one. It's a great community. Definitely check them out. Uni D and V. Um, also, Open mic every Thursday on IG Live, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time called Spit That, Spit That DC. But you can log on from anywhere in the world at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, and definitely perform if you're an artist. Take a listen if you just want to get into those vibes. You might catch Miss Poe B on there performing her famous poem buttered biscuits get to know where sugar biscuits came from okay because it came from a spot it came from a special place my sugar biscuits all right that's also hosted by drew anderson aka at from gumbo to mumbo shout, shout out to you drew very proud of you keep doing your thing um and last but not least Okay, we just doing a whole artist thing right now. Support your local artists. Make sure you go stream Janet by Derek Walton today. Go stream Janet by Derek Walton today. It is such a beautiful, marvelous, just sexy and mysterious music video. Shout out to you, Derek. Can I get a hand clap, producers? Woo! <laughs> So yes, support your local artists today, everybody, all right? Including me, Miss Poe B, my baby, because I got to eat. Hello? I'm a sugar biscuit now, all right? And I need some sugar biscuits up in my life, okay? Okay. All right, so that was Poe News. When we get back, we're going to have Bambalacha sign off, so that way you can get all his info, all his details, um, and get to hear more about, you know, Anything he has going on, any type of events Bambalacha might be doing, you definitely want to know about those as well. Um, it's always great to hear about the Black male experience and how to turn, you know, what might have been survival mode into great life skills. I talked about that in my last episode. All right, y'all. When we get back, we're going to sign off. Positivity with Puck. Andy for your mind, Andy for your spirit. It's wild radio, so you know you're gonna hear it. Whether you like to spit it or you just wanna feel it, forever Andy baby, and you know we got the spirit. Andy for your mind, Andy for your spirit, Andy for your mind, Andy for your spirit, Andy for your mind, Andy for your spirit. Indie media for the indie spirit on Wild Radio. All right, world, we're back and we're signing off. Bambalacha, I just want to shout you out again, my friend. Thank you so much. Where can the people follow you? Um, and I know that we were talking about uh, you hosting classes by chance about, you know, helping people who might be interested in growing. Do you still offer that as an option of, with Bambalacha? Yeah, you could actually uh, find us on uh, Instagram at a at uh, b o m b a underscore uh, l a c h a bombalacha um oh one more yeah. <laughs> yeah um and we actually do want to um like uh actually offer people consultations we're actually um in the process of uh, getting our website set up right now so we can offer people consultations and everything on starting uh to actually grow uh knowing how to germinate everything like that um also um we will have uh some videos of actual um time reels of our next grow from uh actual seed to actual flower stage and everything like that um that's uh to come because we're going to be uh starting a youtube channel pretty soon um Makes yeah, the only fun. yes, yes. <laughs> the only thing is, is you know, just the legality, you know, everything, you yeah. know, statewide and everything like that. But um, yeah, uh, yeah, like honestly, 
and on Instagram. Anybody can just send Bambalacha a DM if you just have a random question, just randomly, just about anything about growing, cultivation, how you started, how you want to do it. You know, if you have a community garden, um, that's another thing that we want to actually like work on. Uh, we're actually, you know, in North Carolina, but we're actually from Philadelphia. So uh, what we're mainly trying to do is uh, get back to Philly to try to, um, you know, work on some community gardens in the area, pretty much. Yeah. There's a lot of cool things going in Philly, and uh, we definitely want to be a part of it just because uh, it's right up the same alley and uh, more than merry, you know. So. Yeah, I want to say, Bumbalach was actually just in Philly for Juneteenth, um, selling your merchandise. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I missed you, but how did no that work? That was cool. It went pretty good. It went pretty good, man. My eyes were low, man. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Mamba Lacha, y'all. Make sure you mm -hmm. follow them um, on Instagram. Uh, support Mamba Lacha as well. Support your local artists. Support your local farmers, okay? You got to do it. Support your local Black people. You got to do it. You got to do it, man. Because who, you know they ain't. Right. You know they ain't. They just going to take. <laughs> we know they ain't that's right I support <laughs> that and you're very right about that they don't always they don't really care about us you know they that's don't. that's a real statement right there okay <laughs> but um, definitely thank you uh thank you for having uh me on your show this was uh definitely an amazing experience no definitely. we definitely got to pick this up because there's so much more that we need to get into yeah yeah to educate everybody on it i mean there's just so many different levels as a black person on a health level mm -hmm. um on exactly. a holistic level like you said you mm -hmm. know, me off of these things and um i did talk about in the last episode you know using uh well not, not in the last episode uh episode two of the double consciousness mm -hmm. killing the double consciousness how you have you have the best skills but you don't really know about them or can't use them in a positive way because you're in survival mode you know you're yep. in a mode where you're just like every day i'm just trying to get through the day so like you said you use it for yep. recreational uses but your skills and your talents once you got out of well i'm just trying to get by and started mm -hmm. to realize, wait a minute, mm -hmm. I, I know something about this, you know, you can and, that, and that's something that that's something that happens. You slow down and you start noticing some of these like really small gifts that like, yeah, money can buy you a Bentley and a mansion and everything like that. But like once you start seeing some of these like very small, minute gifts that God has gave us, it's like, all right, well, you know, yeah, that's cool, but you know. <laughs> talents, yeah. Well, Bambalacha, mm. thank you so much. I really appreciated having you on the show. We definitely gonna have you back. Uh, again, you, follow Bambalacha on Instagram. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is our Positivity with Poe, Making a Plan, episode five, okay, the male series. Next week's episode, it's just going to be me and you, my sugar biscuits. Had to come back with another thought, food for thought, food for your basket. Um, do you know yourself? We're going to get into that. Do you know yourself? And trust me, this is going to be an episode that's going to make you think more about living for yourself. Okay, my sugar biscuits. Okay, my sugar biscuits. So make sure you tune in next week for Positivity with Poe, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm your host, Miss Poe B. That's it for me, y'all. You know what it is. Indie for your mind. Indie for your spirit. <laughs> See y'all next week. Bye. I was Wow Radio, keeping the firm grip on a community. We have today's issues for tomorrow's successes. Wow Radio. I was deep, deep into the mind.